in what comes as a huge win for India and in the United States, the United Nations Security Council has designated lashkar e toiba leader Abdul Rahman Maki, also one of the masterminds behind the 2611 Mumbai attacks, as a terrorist under the 1267 Al Qaeda Sections Committee. So, big story we are tracking this afternoon. Well, uh, So in what comes as a huge win for India and the United States, the United Nations Security Council has designated lashkar e toiba leader Abdul Rahman Maki, also one of the masterminds behind the 2611 Mumbai attacks as a terrorist under the 1267 Al-Qaeda Sections Committee. And meanwhile, it may be mentioned here that India has been attempting to designate Maki as a terrorist under the 1267 committee list for a while now. However, China's veto had always been coming into play. The last attempt came in June last year when India was joined by the United States in its bid to designate Maki as a terrorist and bring him under the fold of sanctions that come with his designation. It came as no surprise that China once again put a hold on proceedings and succeeded in choking out India's bid to designate the lashkar e toiba deputy chief as a terrorist under the 1267 committee list. Also worth mentioning here, Maki is the brother-in-law of Hafiz Said, co-founder of the lashkar e toiba The US government has placed a $2 million bounty on Maki's head. So big win for India and United States there. Well, the United Nations Security Council has designated lashkar e toiba leader Abdul Rahman Maki, also one of the masterminds behind the 2611 Mumbai attacks, as a terrorist under the 1267 Al-Qaeda Sections Committee. And it may be mentioned here that India has been attempting to designate Maki as a terrorist under the 1267 committee list for a while now. However, China's veto had always been coming into play. The last attempt came in June last year when India was joined by the United States in its bid to designate Maki as a terrorist and bring him under the fold of sections that come with this designation. It came as no surprise that China once again put a whole on proceedings and succeeded in choking out India's bid to designate the lashkar e toiba deputy chief as a terrorist under the 1267 committee list. Well, also worth mentioning here, Maki is the brother-in-law of Hafiz Said, co-founder of the lashkar e toiba All right, so the U.S. government has placed a $2 million bounty on Maki's head. So indeed, a big win both for India and the United States as the United Nations Security Council has designated lashkar e toiba leader Abdul Rahman Maki, also one of the masterminds behind the 2611 Mumbai attacks as a, as a terrorist under the 1267 Al-Qaeda Sections Committee. Well, it may be mentioned here that India has been attempting to designate Maki as a terrorist under the 1267 Committee list for a while now. However, China's veto had always been coming into play. The last attempt came in June last year when India was joined by the United States in its bid to designate Maki as a terrorist and bring him under the fold of sanctions that come with his designation. And it came as no surprise once again put a hold on proceedings and succeeded in choking out India's bid to designate the lashkar e toiba 
deputy chief as a terrorist under the 1267 committee list. Worth mentioning here, Maki is the brother-in-law of Hafiz Said, co-founder of the lashkar e -Taiba. Well, the U.S. government has placed a $2 million bounty on Maki's head. We finally, India has been able to succeed in its diplomatic efforts in having China to lift its hold of declaring Abdul Rahman Maki as a dread terrorist by the United Nations Security Council. India has been trying since last year to have this man declared as the terrorist, but China always puts in a technical hold. Whenever there is some sort of a uh, thing like this, wherein the people who are terrorists in Pakistan who are aiding and abetting terrorism in Pakistan are involved. Finally, now he has been declared as a dead terrorist and he was the man instrumental in garnering funds, training terrorists and sending them across to India. Now, at least one thing is very clear that Pakistan will have to answer as to how this man is operating over there and Pakistan also now can be put on call. <laughs> हिंदुस्तान के लिए बहुत बड़ा डिप्लोमेटिक और पॉलिटिकल कू है और पाकिस्तान और चाइना के लिए सेटबैक मक्की जो है वो मुंबई कांड का मास्टरमाइंड था लेकिन 15 साल से फ्री घूम घूम रहा है जबकि पाकिस्तान को हर प्रकार का एविडेंस दिया गया कि वास्तव में वो इन्वॉल्वड है अभी बड़ा लाजमी है कि इसको भी उसी प्रकार से निकाला जाए जैसे कि बिन लादेन को निकाला गया क्योंकि इंटरनेशनल टेरर घोषित हो गया है और इसमें छह अमेरिकन भी मारे गए थे और कुछ इजरायलीज भी मारे गए थे हिंदुस्तान अमेरिका और इजराइल को मिलजुल कर कोई कार्रवाई करनी चाहिए टू टेक आउट मक्की द सोनेस्ट जहां तक पाकिस्तान का तल्लुक है पाकिस्तान ना तो एम्बेस फील होगा फील, फील करेगा ना ही वो शेम्ड होगा पाकिस्तान तो उसको उसी माफी की खुली छूट देगा जैसे अभी तक दी, दी हुई है और बड़ा लाजमी है कि ऐसे टेरिस को जल्दी से जल्दी खत्म किया जाए well, first of all, the reality is it, uh, it's not India's case we are talking about. When a terrorist is apprehended or it's listed as a terrorist, it's not India's case. It is the humanity which is at risk. What happens is that those terrorists who operate in Europe and elsewhere in the U.S., they get the priority because they have the, uh, the backing to get it uh, sorted out and passed in the U.N. bodies. But India is fighting a lonely battle, even though we are one of the worst sufferers of terrorism. And our job is to list and to bring them uh, in, the, in the very list so that they can also be apprehended when they are operating elsewhere. So it's about time that even China understand that it's not India's case that we are fighting. We are fighting on, the, uh, uh, on behalf of the civilized society. Abdul Rahman Makki ko pehle bhi... Al-Qaeda, which is the 1267 United Nations Security Council ki sanction committee, hai, usme pehle bhi Bharat aur, uh, America ne ye case take up kiya tha. Aur us team, time mein, Chin ne iske upar adanga lagaya tha, ki isko technical hold mein dal diya tha. Ab, thode halat badal rahe hain, Chin bhi kafi pressure mein hai, aur is liye, ye bhot achhi news hai, aur ab saamne nazar aara hai, Chin ne abhi technical hold hata diya hai, ये अब्दुल रहमान मक्की भारत के लिए एक बहुत ही खतरनाक टेररिस्ट है एलईटी का नंबर 2 रहा है ये और उसका हाफिज सईद का रिश्तेदार भी है उसी के साथ-साथ इसने इसका इन्वॉल्वमेंट था बंबई जो अटैक हुआ था उसके ऊपर भी और जम्मू और कश्मीर में भी काफी सारे अटैक्स हुए हैं उसके ऊपर भी इसका जो इन्वॉल्वमेंट था वो देखा गया था और बट वी हैव मोर रिएक्शंस कमिंग इन ऑन दिस बिग डेवलपमेंट लिसन इन Countering terrorism is one of India's, Indian foreign policy's most important goals. Hence, the news that came in this morning that Abdul Rahman Makki has been designated as a global terrorist by the UN Sanctions Committee is a good augury. It reflects the growing understanding globally that China cannot thwart India. China's stranglehold over India's pursuit of justice against those who have uh, attacked our people is now on the vein. 
This is a good success for Indian diplomacy. However, there are several others in the pipeline. Let's not forget, there is Abdul Rauf Asghar, who was associated with the IC814 hijacking. There is also um, Sajid Mir, who was associated with the Mumbai uh, attacks. His associate, Shahid Mahmood, and finally, there is Talha Saeed, the uh, son of Masood, uh, uh, of uh, Hafiz Saeed. So, the list is long, the pip pipeline is still on. Uh, our quest for justice for our people against Pakistani-based terrorists will continue.